Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today we're looking at fake users and why it's important that you understand what they are. This video will be in my quick tips playlist where you'll find lots of quick tips just like this. So have you ever created a beautiful brush for painting or maybe a sculpting brush with a lovely texture on it that's creating some brilliant scales or something like that or maybe created some lovely materials but when you save your work and you come back into the file some of those brushes or materials have disappeared. Well, I'm going to tell you why. So with the default scene here, I'll go into the shading workspace. My default cube has a basic material on it. We'll actually call this white and we'll use that. I'll zoom out a bit and I'll create a few more textures with it. So add new material here. I'll call this Musgrave and I'll press Shift A to add texture and the Musgrave texture there and hook it up. There we go, the Musgrave texture. I'll create a couple more, new texture and I'll call it Magic. And with the Node Wrangler installed, check out my other quick tips playlist to find out more about that. But you can press Shift S over your nodes and you can then switch type two and I can choose a different texture like the magic. And there's that beautiful magic texture. Let's create another one, checker this time. So Shift S to switch type two texture and then the checker texture. So what have I got so far? I've got my white texture, my Musgrave texture, my magic texture and the checker texture. Now what you'll notice is there's a zero before the magic, musgrave and white. The checker hasn't got one and that's because the default cube here has that checker material. So what this is telling me is that the magic, musgrave and white have no users. They're not connected to an object. Therefore when I save this, file, save as, testing fake users, save, close down Blender, open it up again, open up my file, testing fake users, let's choose a different material, they're not there. And like I say, that's because they had nothing that they were attached to, so they were removed when we saved our file. So how do we stop this from happening? Well, let's create a new material again, and we'll call this magic. Shift S to change this node to the magic texture. So I've got my two textures here, the checker and the magic, but there's that zero before the checker because it's not being used. Well, what I can do is use this shield icon here, which is called fake user. And it says, save this data block, even if it has no users. So we create a fake user for it, which sounds a bit confusing, but the shield icon is a good icon because it's the idea of protecting this texture. So you're saving it with a shield. So we'll tick that and the checker texture still has the zero on it. So let's go to that and press the shield. Now, when we choose the drop down, both of them have this F on it, which is fake user. So they are protected. Now when we save, file, save as, testing fake users, save, close Blender down, open it up again, testing fake users, there's our two textures, magic and checker. So let's go across to sculpting and create a sculpting brush. So I'm in the basic draw brush and I can come over to here where my brushes are under my workspace settings and create a new brush and I'll call this texture. Now, when you add a new brush, it does actually create a fake user. So it will save this brush for me. But if I add a texture to it, so if I come down here to where the texture is and add a new texture and I go across to my textures to load up a texture. So let's open one, go to my brushes and choose this lovely scaled brush here. So there it is. And I would be able to paint this on. I'd quickly do a remesh and show you that. And we can see that texture going on there. Lovely. However, when you look at that shield, we must make sure we tick it. Otherwise, when I close down this file, open it up again, I won't have this texture to that new brush that I created. The same is true if you have a paintbrush where you've got a texture on it and you're painting textures on, you want to save that. It's true also for animation actions. And there's probably some other things that I can't think of at the moment. Lastly, if you find that you use this brush all the time, you can always set up under file defaults, a new startup file. That means this brush will always be there in your startup file or any materials that you add as long as you have that fake user ticked to protect your textures or materials. So hopefully now you understand what fake users are and why you need to use them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.